One of my first thoughts when I was looking at this is, does it work? Does it work well? Yes, it does. Let me give you the dive in and you know demo of all of this that I really like. So it's a two-in-one vacuum and mop at the same time. So that just saves a lot of time, which I really like. So this is how we have it set up. This is our downstairs, kind of like the play area. And just all this, we have people down here. I want to be able to make sure that the ground is clean, not just vacuum, but also mop because we have this hardwood floor. So this is the dock, how it sits. And if it was real life, I just pull this out. It's been charging. I take that out, just put it back in. I grab it. And then what I do is I have a couple different options as far as how to use it. Kind of like on a low and a high, but it's not so much like on the suction, it's more so on the water usage. So right here, you can see that there is a bunch of water with cleaning solution inside of it. And then I'll show you in a sec, but this is where the, uh, like the cartridges for the used water. So it'll take it, put it out, suck it, put it back into the used and do that. And then it'll give you all these indications of when you've used too much water, when you don't have enough water and all that stuff. It's just very simple. So if I push this button, it'll automatically start moving actually by itself, which is really nice because it does have some weight to it. It's got water, it's got the battery, it's got the suction power. When I push this, watch this. I'm not going to push. I'm just going, like, I'm not going to push it itself. I do that. Watch. It's moving because it pulls itself, which is really nice. And it's doing all this cleaning. If I wanted to, I needed more water power. I just push that number two. And now I have more of that water going. It's going to be using it just in case, you know, like the ground is really dirty. And I just push the button again. It stops, turns right off. And then say I'm done. I can just like a normal vacuum, you know, have it sitting up, which I really like. The charger was here on the back. But if I want to, I can just take this piece out and see this dirty water, clean water, dirty water, clean water. So I can take this out. I can fill this with water, the cleaning solution, which it does come with, which works super well. Uh, all you have to do is like add a cap full into this and then you can clean the entire floor. Put that right back in. It clips right into place. And then this guy right here, this is really cool. So this is the vacuum portion. This is what's going to vacuum up. And then it takes everything that you just got just right there into here, nice and dirty. And then I could just dump that out, but it also has this really cool vacuum part right here. So you can see that this is like squishy. This is the actual mop that's doing all the work, which is really cool. And you can obviously take that out, clean it if you want. And then you just put this right back on. It is as simple as that. It's locked into place right there. It's not going to go anywhere. This thing works so well. It holds a charge for a very long time. And it tells you when you need to, as I said, you know, if you need to add more water, if it needs a better charge and like that's how it is down here. It also comes with this like cool attachment piece. You can kind of see, I'll put it up against the white. It has these like cool looking things in here. It's what you can use to be able to clean out your vacuum piece versus like having to use your fingers and pull all that out. So works really well. And then you just put it right back in the dock. You have it charging and oh, <laughs> I grabbed it and turned it on. But if I wanted to, I just take it from the dock clean. I dump it all out. I make sure it's all rinsed and I just have it ready to rock and roll for next time that I need to use it. They did an absolute a great job. It's built super well, works really well. Hope you guys enjoy.